frequency histograms and polygons. So histogram is similar to a column graph, but it doesn't have any gaps between the columns. So let's look at a frequency distribution table. So if we have a score and frequency, scores of one, two, three, four, and five. So we had 10 scores of one, 20 scores of two, 45 scores of three, 15 scores of four, and five scores of five in our table. And how can we draw a frequency histogram, first of all? So let's draw that over here. So these gaps have to be nice and even for every score we have. You'll be using a ruler, unlike me. And we have scores of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's come up with a nice scale here. You can see that our highest frequency is 45. So I know we only have to go up to 50. This is our frequency, and these are our scores, which we usually call X. Now, when we draw the histogram, whatever our gap is here, that's how wide our column has to be, but it has to be centered around the score. So taking that gap and going from here to here, that gap is the same as this gap. And for our score of 1, it's supposed to go up to 10. So it's going to look something like that. Now for our score of 2, that goes up to 20. And it's right next to this column. Like that. Now 3 goes up to 45, so about up to here. Four goes up to fifteen, so about there. And five just goes up to five, so about there. And there's our, our histogram. Now the polygon starts in the corner down here and goes to the middle of every column. So to there, then to there, to there, to there, to there. And then that gap we were talking about here, we need to make another gap here. And that's where our polygon comes back down to on the line. And then we join all the dots together with straight lines to form our polygon.